All right, hello guys, and welcome to my weekly forecast from the 28th of July to the 4th of August. Before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content. I make lots of videos like this and also monthly and seasonal forecasts, as well as forecasts for storms that are happening right now. We also have new social medias that are going to be in the pinned comment and the description below, so go check those out. Anyway, guys, let's get right into it. Now, we're looking at the precipitation forecast first off, and you can see... There is no area of above average precipitation at all in the United States. We're only expecting below average precipitation. So from Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, up into the mid-Atlantic states as well as Tennessee, Kentucky, and some of those Great Lakes states as well, and then into the northeastern United States as well as New England, we're all expecting slightly below average precipitation. The first three quarters of this week forecast, it's going to be pretty dry and then at the end there is a chance for some rain but it's not going to be enough to meet your average now we're going to go ahead and move on to your temperature forecast at this point and you can see there's a lot going on there's two areas of below average temperatures and two areas of above average temperatures now for oregon and washington we have an area of slightly below average temperatures a very small area there and it shouldn't be too noticeable but on paper it will be below average for that region now, directly to your east and south, we have an area, a large area of above average temperatures. So from California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, into the Dakotas, Nebraska, Minnesota, Iowa, down into Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, and Colorado, we have an area of slightly above average temperatures. And within that, we do have an orange area for Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. This area will be quite noticeable as it's in the second shade of red. And I'm expecting quite a bit above average temperatures there for that little region. Now, to your east, we do have another area of below average temperatures. So Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, uh, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, we're all expecting below average temperatures for this region. Again, it's in the first shade. Shouldn't be too, too noticeable, but it will be a little bit noticeable for that region. Now, to your east, we have a, another area of above average temperatures. So from North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Maryland, D.C., Delaware, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. We're all going to be experiencing slightly above average temperatures. Again, you won't feel it too much as it's only in that first shade, but on paper, it will come out as above average a little bit there. Now, we're going to get into your first your first special note here, and there's only one special note this week. I know the weather's been really boring where there's only been a few special notes or notable things going on, but I'm expecting, obviously, with the tropical weather to be picking up and then eventually snowstorms, that's when we'll start getting really active in the fall and winter time. So stay tuned for that because I'm going to try to keep making these throughout the year. Now, we have an area of severe thunderstorms possible today for South Dakota and Minnesota here, so be on the lookout for that. If you are in that small, small region, there is a slight risk at severe weather for today and you know we can't really forecast how bad the severe weather will be you know more than four or five six days out so we don't really have special notes but there could be more slight risks in the week ahead there almost definitely will be but this is the only one that we can like for sure see anyway guys i hope you really really enjoyed this video again with the weekly forecast let me know what any ideas of things that you think i can add to this because i'd like these to be longer obviously they only take about three to five minutes to make at this point and i want to get them a little bit longer just so there's more content for you guys coming out every week so if there is any more types of products you would like to see in these let me know there were some great ideas in the first weekly forecast i made so i'm going to take some of those probably and try to see what i can do with those but in this video if there is any more ideas that you guys have let me know for sure because again i want to add to this series a lot i, I really want to grow upon this one and anyway, guys i hope to see you in the next video have a great day